So Chloe's trying out a new casserole, the chili relleno casserole that she found online. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. I think they messed up on the measurement for the chilies because this had two seven ounce cans. And I bought a 20 ounce can and it barely, it's supposed to be two layers of chilies, only one. Yeah. So I don't know, but. Well, next time we know to double up. Yeah. yeah. Look at Chloe's hair, you like how curly it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm break up all this flour and stuff. Hopefully it comes out. Good. It looks like it's gonna be good. There's no salt or pepper or anything else added to it, so... Yeah. It's the only one I could find that looked cheap to make. Yeah. Online, so. so right out the oven. Looks pretty good. I honestly think this is uh, chili relleno casserole white girl style because it has said to put tomato sauce when I honestly think they should have said to put a can of El Bato sauce or the can of El Pato Jalapeno sauce because I don't know about tomato sauce on chili relleno. You usually put like a spicy, my but... Puts, my mom puts tomato sauce, but she buys the hot... The hot, hot tomato peppers. sauce. Oh. It looks good though, so we'll show you our plate and uh, we'll give our taste test review. So we're going to put our last layer of cheeses. You want to put it back in the oven for a little bit? Yeah, let's put it back for about two minutes. Just so the cheese, Just the cheese can melt. Gunk that hole with cheese. I love me a cheesy bitch. Well, it says use the rest of the bag, so. Oh, I'm a cheesy bitch? Mm-hmm. Super cheesy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Here we go. Like I said, it's not layered like I wanted because it wasn't enough chili peppers. But that's what the recipe asked for. True. Well, like I said, it was probably a white bitch recipe, so it was a white bitch serving size. I got a Mexican this shit up. Yeah, definitely. You want a bigger? Yeah, I want actually half the pan. I'll give you like this. Hold on. Yeah, for now. I need something to hold it with. Gotta buy like so much shit. I know. We didn't we still haven't bought like a lot of crap that we needed when we moved in here. Mmm. Like we need oven We need towels. oven mitts. We need dish towels. Dish towels. We need a, a a dish strainer. Mm -hmm. We need pots. <laughs> we need everything. Really, like, when we moved here, we literally moved here with nothing. I mean, we had. Sure, we, we couldn't carry it on a fucking. Bus. We moved here on a bus, and it was a five-hour bus ride, and we could only take one suitcase and one carry-on. So, we literally we donated and threw away everything that we had. You had to pick like your favorite shit, and even then, you had to throw half of that away or get rid of. Yeah, so we're we're having to start over again. My think, thankfully, my brother gave us a pan and pots and stuff, but we have to go we have to go pick it up. He gave us like one that we use like all the time. Yeah, because that's all we could bring. Ooh, I'm so hungry. Yes, honey, I'm hungry. Yes, bitch, yes. Let's see. First bite. Let's go. No seasoning required. Oh, oh, oh bitch. That is, really good. that is good. The mm -hmm. only thing I would say to do is to add the El Pato instead of the tomato. But if you're not into spicy, then the tomato sauce is just fine. Yeah, I would I probably, if I could get to a Mexican uh, grocery store, I'd get the hotter peppers. True. Because that would make a big difference. We like, she got the mild peppers. that's all they had at Walmart. That's all they had at Walmart. <laughs> but I love it. It's so it's good. Crazy. So I think you're going to have to show everybody this recipe next mm -hmm. time. Okay. Oh, the camera lens is dirty. And the lighting is so bad because we're in the dark. So yes. It worked. It worked good. Yeah. I like that. Instead of wasting money. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even think you need tortillas. I still want some. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Hope you guys liked our little video. I'll probably make it again next month when we get our food stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how, how, I made it. how we doctor it up to make it our own. But this is the original version. But, yeah. Like I said, we just like it a little spicier. Mm -hmm. That's why I put tapatio on mine.